Just arrived at Barbon in the far western Yorkshire Dales. Just missed the 11 o'clock church chime, church bell chime, which would have been nice. I'm going to go for a stroll. Um, not sure how far we'll get or what I'm, sort of mood I'm in, but uh, we'll never see if we can get up um, uh, Calf Top, which is, is one of the uh, Dale's 30s where well, I've done it before, but. Look at this weather. And look at that tree. How old's that thing? Look at girth on that. Man alive, that's got to be at least five foot wide. I'll be hundreds of years old. All right, we're going to have a look down here. See how far we get. All right. Marvellous. Look at the weather. Oh, marvellous. I think that's Barb and Beck. Let's get up here. Sometimes you do feel like... Excuse me? <laughs> Sometimes you do feel like um, you don't want to get out and do anything. And then when you get out you start to feel better. Now, well, this is the Barber Manor Estate. Now, there's a bunch of cows here, and uh, I think people are often terrified of them, but the body language, they're not interested. And uh, there's a big fella up here. Look at these trees, they're glorious things. Oh, I've just passed a cow and its mom and its calf, not interested. Now I'm looking to get down here, through towards that gate I reckon. I don't think this is it. I think it's up here. Around this woodland, not through it. Another fantastic tree, oak tree. That's not a young one either. Oh, there's loads of them. It's all on private estate. Beautiful. Right, I'll catch you up in a bit. So, I've come along the edge of this wood. It said private wood, so I didn't go through it. The path's shown along here. I'm going to go up to the farm and then up here, up this ridge, as far as I can tell. And there's loads of pheasants everywhere. <sighs> oh, hello. Hello, boy. Hello, boy. What are you doing? What are you doing? You can't get through there, can you, mate? You can't get through. No. Where's your dad? Eh? Where's your dad? <laughs> All right, we're going up there now. Tell our little fella.
Oh, puppies. Oh, my back. Oh, don't bend down, Peter. Wow. Look at the wing ring in these. It's a little split there. Thin layer's about an inch thick. Right, there's the Lone Valley. Press on. Oh, it's no, uh, no easy cookie this. Right, I'll get to Cairn up there. Right, so there's another, and it is a full summit. It's the third one, there's the pike down there, there's another one here. And that's a false summit. I know, because I've just looked at the map, and I know the lie of the land anyway. Um, it's about one kilometre to the top of uh, Carf Top now. So I'll push on, and have a butty at the top. Uh. Hi. Hi. Good track up, but that first bit is a killer. Just past the farm. This is the uh, cairn on top of the third fall summit. Some good pictures up here if you're thinking of camping. That's Casterton fell over there, and uh, that is. Crag Hill and Great Coombe, and that's uh, Gragareth over there. Camped on both those two. Well, is this the top or not? It's a tarn down there, I might get some water if you needed it. Is this the top or not? And the answer is no, it's not. Wind's got up about 20 mile an hour. I'm, I'm being joined in a second. I'm actually glad I didn't realise <laughs> there was that big of a goal between the two, the false summit and the real summit. <sighs> Not many trail runners on today. Vast Sportiva, I think they are. I don't like them as much as the uh, Ultra Lone Peak Ultra 7s that I've got. They've got a much bigger toe box. I can feel these squeezing my toes a little bit, not much. That's me dry feet gone. I was in up to my ankles there. Oh well. They drain, they drain well, these uh, trail runners. Don't have me waterproof socks on either. I'll tell you what, that was a grind up there. There uh, you can see, oh, you can see Engelbert over there. Gragreth, Crag Hill. Went inside behind it and uh, think that would be great and outbreak. And uh, we're nearly at the summit now. And, uh, and Chris JB camped up here a couple of winters back in the snow. Said, but there's the trick. I haven't been up here since I was a teenager, I don't think. There's Said, but down there in the Howgills, that's where my mum was born. 
and uh, there's Boar Fell, B A U G H, and uh, Wild Boar Fell behind it. Quite a view from up here. Right, Crag Hill there, Dentdale. You can have a butty now. You can just see Kent Estuary out there, Morecambe Bay out there. The wind's got up to about, who well, I'd say, possibly 20 mile an hour gusts. It shows you how much the weather can change, even in the dales, you've got to be equipped. So the Howgill's over there. I'm afraid my other camera's got muck on the lens and I can't clean it, and it's got telephoto. Nothing to clean it with. Follow this uh, summit wall back down. Winds have got up now, and it's supposed to rain uh, tonight. But not camping today. But oh, my back! It's just a bit of low pain, low back pain. Nothing to do with the walking. Uh, but um, trying to grunt, grunt through it a bit. Zingleborough. Right, I'll catch you up a bit further down. Right, so that's the top of uh, Calf Top. That's Rice Hill and Dentdale. Nowbury Hill, I think. Crag Hill. Gregoreth. And uh, that's hard going across there. It's all boggy. Uh, as you can tell, the wind's got up. Castle Knot, about 538 metres above sea level. Yeah, and I think you can see the farm at the top of the lane where you go up to Gregoreth. Anyway, quite nice over on the towards Dentdale. Can't see the Howgills because of calf top. Not to be confused with the calf, which is one of the Howgills. Right, I'm gonna have a little snack and then bash on down. The rain has started to come in earlier than forecast. The winds are up and the rains are coming. Shows you how quickly it can change, even on the bells. rainbow blue sky where I've come from and uh, wind and rain coming in from the Irish Sea that's Castle Knot up there where I've just been I've come down this track sun's come out for a while Casterton Fell. There's a kestrel over there. The weather's coming in, really coming in now from the west. Ah, you can see the River Loon wending its way into the Irish Sea. And uh, because of the way the light is falling, you can see the incline of the strata there in Casterton Fell. I've got to press on and stop waffling.
that's the path going down, but it's a bit steep that. I can see Barbon down there, in fact I can see my car. What's this place called? called... Nothing. <laughs> it's called Cairn. <laughs> Just above Barbon. Yeah. Where's the church? I've lost it now. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there. Right, so I've got to go down here, along that wood. Nice little craggy uh, outcrops on the last... Uh, this is why I didn't come up this way. <laughs> I, I, I took a more staggered approach. Oh, it's nice. Beautiful. Look at these rocks. Oh. Look at that pattern and that. Wow. What's that there? It's just like a light chin or something. Whoa, steady on Peter. Just film down to this rock here. Look at that. Very impressive. Look at the strata. Wow. Let's have a closer look at that. Look at that. Amazing. That old wizened old tree. So I'm back uh, down the lower meadows and we'll see the church in the far distance about a quarter of a mile away I've cut a corner off this field which is a lot better I'm just following this quad bike track loads of pheasants everywhere lovely woods these broad leaved trees just coming back down the lane to Barbon and uh, it's just starting to chuck it down <laughs> so I'm no more than about 200 yards from the car now but it is starting to lash it down there's the church get me to the church on time that's what I say back down to the river it is raining How's that for timing? Back over at bridge. That's flowing. There's the church. Watch your ankles on these things. Hello. How are you doing? How are you doing, Tweedy? Hello. How are you doing? Have you had a nice day? Have you had a nice day? That's it. Good girl. Right then. Look at what you're doing there. Pheasants. Yeah, pheasants keep shooting out the, out the hedge. Now he won't spook now when I want him to. <sighs> There's this magnificent oak tree. And we're turning right back to where the car is parked. Well timed that, just as the heavy rain's coming in. So I'll end it here. Hope you like this video. And uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up and get on the old subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.
Right, back at the old jam jar. Sticks in. Atom pack in. Shut the door. Get in. Crisps everywhere. Eating while you're driving. 